Kathy says, if a guy expects me to plan a date, does that mean he is asking me to chase? How can I communicate that I'd like to provide my availability and leave it for him to plan the details? So it kind of depends on what you mean, right? If, if I'm going to guess that this is a new guy and you're not in like a committed relationship or anything like that, right? If you're in a, if you're in a committed relationship, things kind of change a little bit, right? And you can kind of be on more of an equal footing there. And so if a guy expects you to plan a date, it, you know, the question that I have is why does he expect you to plan a date? What kind of a conversation was made where he expects you to plan a date? If, if he, if you were just talking and he was just like, Hey, if you ever want to go out, let me know and set something up and we'll meet up there. Uh, what you can do is just set a boundary, right? What you want to do is set up a boundary and say, Hey, you know, I would really love to go on a date with you. I think it would be a lot of fun, right? Let's assume that you've never met up. Maybe you guys were talking online or you met in person and he's like, Hey, why don't you, you know, set up a date for us to go and meet somewhere or something. What you'd want to say is set up a boundary the way that I talk about setting up a boundary. So what you'd say is something like, like, Hey, I would love to meet up and hang out and go on a date with you. However, right. And then you set the boundary. However, uh, I, I am, I'm more interested in a traditional relationship and, uh, you know, where, um, you know, the, where the man pursues me and, uh, we work together at creating the relationship. Um, you know, and, and if you decide that you want to do that, let me know. Right. So it'd be something like that. That was kind of off the cuff, but, but the point is, is that you want to tell him what you want, right? Tell him that you're interested in meeting up for a date, tell him what the, what the boundary is, you know, however, you know, um, I don't really know you that well. And, you know, I, I prefer having traditional, like a traditional dating relationship situation where a, you know, where the man sets up the date and, and, you know, takes me out somewhere, um, you know, doesn't have to be to anything special or whatever. We, I just want to hang out and, and talk. Right. And, you know, and then ask him if he's going to agree to that, you know, is, uh, you know, if, if you want to do that, you know, let me know or whatever, you know, and, and just leave it at that. Right. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get overboard about whether he actually does it or not. Right. If he's, throwing those hooks out, which if he's like on an online dating site or something like that, he's probably throwing those hooks out a lot, right? Because he's trying to catch women that are going to chase and pursue him and invest in him just because of the things that we just talked about, right? And so what you want to do is just throw it back on him and just be like, nope, don't do that. You can do that if you want to you know, I'd love it if you did, you know, let me know. Right. And so you'll end up finding out whether he's going to do it or not, but absolutely do not do it. Just set up a boundary, let him know that you're interested, that you like him, that you'd love for him to take you out sometime, but that, uh, you don't feel comfortable doing that or, you know, whatever you want to say, you like traditional relationships, whatever. Right. And just let him decide whether he's going to do that or not. And if he doesn't, that's fine. Right. Just like what I talked about earlier, you want to have an orbit of men and you want men to be pursuing you and you want to make sure that you're letting them know in a healthy, empowering way, attractive way that, that you're interested in him and that you want him to step up and you want him to do those things and that you're not going to be the one that's doing it. 